morning everyone my name is crystal and welcome to my youtube channel if you like my videos please smash that like button please do subscribe it is thursday morning um it feels a bit better today uh, weather wise and um it feels warmer quite humid the sun's out so let's see what today brings uh, yeah, Harry, my ginger tomcat, he says, uh, accident prone as usual. I'm just going to pick what he's just knocked over. Pick it up. <laughs> Pick it up. He's like a flying bat, my cat. He's like a flying bat. He just jumps that way, jumps that way, tries to even jump up to the ceiling, and I end up having to pick him off. So how he attaches himself to things, I haven't got a clue. He's still only a baby, isn't he? <laughs> Alexa, good morning. Good morning, and happy birthday to YouTube. Launched on this day in 2005. Its first ever clip featured co-founder George Kareem at San Diego Zoo. Right from the start, YouTube was never short of animal videos. Uh, happy birthday to YouTube. Alexa, what's the time? Good morning, Crystal. It's 8.39 a.m. Alexa, what's the date today? Today is Thursday, the 15th of February. Alexa, what's the weather like? In Rochester, it's 12 degrees Celsius with mostly cloudy skies. Today, you can expect cloudy skies with a high of 15 degrees and a low of 10 degrees. Alexa, can you tell me a joke? Alexa, can you tell me a joke? Why shouldn't you ride a horse after dark? It'd be a nightmare. Alexa, whose birthday is it today? Today's famous birthdays include American rapper Megan Thee Stallion, English actor Callum Turner, English actress Jane Seymour, American cartoonist Matt Groening, and British racing driver George Russell. So, good morning, guys. I am drinking a cup of Nescafe. I'm drinking Nescafe sticky toffee pudding flavour. Um, try not to drink so much coffee, maybe one or two cups, not seven or eight that I've been drinking. So guys, another day. Valentine's Day I spent by myself, but I was quite happy to do so. I've got my own mind, my own, I mean Valentine's Day evening. Um, I've got my own mind and, I, you know, I, wa I don't want bad relationships. I don't want toxic relationships. So I'd rather have no relationship at all um, rather than be bullied around in a relationship. So, yeah, more often than not, women that know their own minds end up by themselves. And good. I'm fine about that. So, I went round to my mum's yesterday afternoon. My mum seemed to be in a bit of a crotchety mood. Um, my mum is on her own and my mum didn't get any flowers. My mum didn't get any cards. Um, my mum's a widow, so kept my mum, I tried to keep my mum company for as long as I could, but she was in a really crotchety mood yesterday, so, um, you know, it ends up rubbing off on me, and then I feel crotchety, and I wasn't feeling well anyway, so there you go. Um, flowers, yeah, I've been given flowers in the past, um, but I think Valentine's Day is for lovers, you know, it's for, for not just younger people, but it's just for pe people that are together, really, or, or 
or someone that's on the start of a relationship when it's all like that lovey-dovey business when you can't leave each other alone. Um, but for me, I'm an older woman and I've been through all that. I've been through bad relationships. And to be fair, you know, when it, even you can be in a relationship and not get Valentine's Day presents. If it's a toxic, bad relationship, then, you know, they're off out with other women. They're off doing other things and leaving you by yourself on Valentine's Day, on your birthday, at Christmas. That's why I think for me, I'm getting, I'm, I'm great by myself. I don't have to worry if I'm upsetting somebody either or I'm saying something wrong. So, yeah, I spent... Also, I liked what someone else said last night on the news. You know, if you're with your boyfriend or girlfriend or wife, husband, every day should be like Valentine's Day. That's what someone said on the TV last night. Every day should be like Valentine's Day if you're part of a couple. For a lot of relationships, that's not the case. So, yeah, I stayed with my mum as long as I could. Um, one of my mum's neighbours had a present to, uh, delivered to, to them while I was sat with my mum. So she was feeling pretty grotty bit like myself and then we had that oh it was waiting hour and a half just to get through to my doctor's surgery and it was irritating me that horrible boring monotonous music it's, it's bad enough when they play pop songs but when it's monotonous like what is that tune it was gr grating me it was annoying me so I was on the phone for an hour and a half because you saw how long it took to get to, to from two to one. So when I first rang up, I was calling number 12. So it took ages, but I persevered to get an appointment. I really persevered with it. Nice chap brought me home, brought my bags to the door great and I had that parcel from Temu on the floor so I put my bags by the lift shuffled into the communal area got my parcel pressed the lift button got into the lift and I, I came up to my flat with with no no problems at all um I wasn't angry when I got indoors I wasn't upset I wasn't feeling really really bad um, I tried to cheer myself up, I, 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 I get my phone, I play my games uh, and um, I, was, I, I put on the news, I was watching the news, there was a bad incident in, in America where people were being shot at, um, the state of the, of the whole world is like really bad, there's a lot of violence going on in the world at the moment, all over the world not just Great Britain, everywhere. It's a frightening place to live in the world at the moment. Um, so I, I wasn't afraid to go out last night, don't get me wrong. I was wary uh, about going out in the dark by myself with the dog after someone had shouted at that taxi driver. I was, I, you know, it does make you wary. So last night at 7 o'clock I took Max out in the dark by myself but fortunately there were nice people about, there weren't any nasty people about, there was just general people going out for a walk on Valentine's Day, couples walking out together, probably going for a nice walk and, and it didn't feel so nasty so I just went for a walk around the block, I came back indoors and I sat down and I just put the telly on and um, there was a lot of noise uh, from next door funny enough about, just about when I was about to go to bed there was a like 
their kitchen is near my wall so when they turn the microwave on and whatever you can hear it and you can hear what they're saying by the wall so when I was about to go to bed there was a load of noise it was getting on for 11 and there was a load of noise by my wall but you get used to it so I just got ready for bed and I put the covers over my head and I just drifted off to sleep like I said I'm trying to move out of this property um, I'm on the housing list but they are giving me properties that are just not suitable I am an older person now and I don't want to be stuck with you know loads of noise I, I mean obviously everyday noise you know kids during the day mucking about but uh, you know what I mean I'm getting older now I just want to I just want to live the rest of my life in peace not pieces um, so they, they gave me, I said, uh, the opportunity to bid on a property in Duncan Road, Gillingham. And Gillingham is a very, very bad area. It's worse than Chatham and it's worse than Rochester and I don't want to go there. That is where I met somebody who was, a, a, again, a heavy weed user. He actually was smoking bags and bags of it. <laughs> Sorry guys, every every time I do a video, next door's dog starts starts going off down the corridor. I can't speak, but I will persevere. <coughs> um, I don't know whose dog it is. Um, there's three of us that have got dogs on this floor. So it could be the other lady's dog. I don't know whose dog that was. When, when, when it's the dash hound, you know it's the dash hound. My God, I thought a chihuahua was noisy, but I would never ever have a dash hound. My goodness. And remember that dogs are protective of their owners. So when they smell another dog, and Max, Max is a male, so another male dog is a threat to a male dog, you see. So that's why this dog next door is going maniac. Because it's it depends. Max is a male, and I think that dog is male next door, and they don't. It, it's not going to like another male. It's like a rival. You see, that's why it screams down the corridor. <sighs> yeah, so I've got up this morning. I've made myself a cup of coffee, and I'm trying to get back on track. I haven't been feeling well for about two weeks. Um. So I'm just going to the doctors to just see if, if everything is okay um, because I just it didn't feel right. The, the, the amount of pain I was in during that period that came out of the blue after 12 months, it was horrific. It was making me irritable. It was making me annoyed. I couldn't get on with my everyday activities. Um, it just it just didn't seem it seemed over the top and I know when women are going through the menopause your feelings like go through the roof you know you're just snapping at everyone and everything for no reason uh, it's because the hormone levels are dropping right and you can't control it you can't stop yourself I mean Women are being offered talking therapies and people that can't take HRT are being offered talking therapies and other acupuncture and things like that because the menopause is debilitating. It's absolutely awful. Uh, it just, it's awful for a woman and at a time when women need nurturing, they need lots of love and care and attention. A lot of women in their 50s have experienced messy divorces, 
their husbands and boyfriends have left them for younger women and uh, you know a lot of older women are left on their own to cope with this right because there are a lot of breakups in, in marriages when people hit 50 and things go haywire and go, go wrong when a woman needs needs love and attention the most could put and you know men not all men there are men out there that have stayed with their wives from start to finish and they've not cheated don't get me wrong but there are lots of men out there that when they when they when their girlfriend or their wife right loses their looks so to speak they go and hunt for younger women right and they just it makes a woman feel absolutely awful and men as they get older they seem to to be able to attract younger women because a lot of younger women it's not a man's looks they, they like to be financially stable they like a man with a you know a lot of money in his wallet a younger woman so that they can have their nails done their hair done their makeup done and then when the, the man's run out of his money, they usually dump him for somebody else. But these are these older men, you know, that, that it's it's the, the thought of having a beautiful woman on the end of their arm so they can show her off to their mates. Right? So a lot of older women get to uh, feel invisible. They feel invisible, absolutely invisible. So, today, the sun's out and I am just doing everything I normally do by myself. I take Max out for a walk. You've got to remember I haven't been feeling very well. I've got a doctor's appointment next week, so I'm just taking it easy and resting. My foot is still playing up. Um, I've been told it's a sprained ankle, but I don't think it is. I think it's all related with the menopause problems that I've been having. And you need a specialist menopause doctor that uh, deals with everything that related and it's so hard in the NHS to get the right doctor uh, to get a proper diagnosis of what's wrong with you. Some women it takes years and by then a lot of women it's too late. <laughs> um, also, I'm a soft person, I'm soft and I'm kind and I get taken advantage of, so I used to believe all the bullshit lies that men used to spill to me, you're beautiful, you're lovely, uh, you're this and you're that, and they're just after money, they're just after money, right, when they've got your, mo got your money, they don't want to know you. And that guy that approached me on the field, he had, he was after money. He was after money in a flat. So I lived by myself. He didn't, he didn't, I wouldn't say that he loved me or cared about me. His girlfriend was going to move to another country uh, and he didn't want to go. So he was looking for some person to give him a, a, a home and to look after him financially. Because he's an ex-alcoholic. And he blasted all his money on alcohol, and when 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 alcoholics uh, are, are, are paralytic, they, some of them bec can become dangerous and aggressive. Uh, and he was going around stealing things and trashing things. Do you think that I want someone like that in my life? My one of my ex boyfriends was an alcoholic. He'd say. I love you, I love you, I love you. When he was drunk, he'd be all over me with his hands. And then he would, when he was stone cold sober, he was a really nasty, horrible man. And anyone that needs alcohol and drugs to function, 
Right, it's no good for it's it's no good, is it? It's no good at all. So I could have ended up with an ex alcoholic sponging off me, pissing away my money in my flat, and I could have probably well bought my own Valentine's Day present and I decided no. I'm not putting up with that. I'm not putting up with like men like that anymore. And um, no, I didn't get any flowers. No, I didn't get a Valentine's Day present. But I had a nice clean day. Um, I wasn't given any drugs or drink. And um, I, um, I actually had a nice day actually, believe it or not. I did. To come home and to just sit down, relax, watch what you want to watch on the TV, have, an, have your pets curl up to you and just, you know, it was wonderful. Is that, is there anyone that's single out there, make sure you get with the right person because you get with the toxic wrong person. You're, I, I mean, it, it took me 18 years. 18 to get the courage to to leave a toxic relationship it can ruin your life it can destroy your whole life being in a toxic relationship whether it be drugs drink a, a guy's violent yeah, life can be pretty boring, but I'd rather be boring and safe than um, being beaten up or, or introduced to drugs. <laughs> Have a lovely Thursday, guys.